Shalom, let give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, like your double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere brothers pushing this word across the four corners of the earth. This is an article from NOLA.com, and the title says NOPD adopts rainbow LGBTQ badges for Pride Month. It was published on June 27, 2019. And NOPD is New Orleans Police Department. It says Pride Month has almost passed, but there's still time to acknowledge the New Orleans Police Department's gesture of solidarity with the LGBTQ community. In the month of June, NOPD officers could choose to wear crescent and star badges and blazon with the symbolic Pride rainbow. And that Pride, you know, that goes back to this gay agenda that this so-called white man who are the biblical Edomites are passing down on the masses and to get them to accept you know his philosophy of it's okay being a homosexual or a transgender you know you can be what you want to be so that's these New Orleans police officers are taking pride in it and just let you know how this whole system is messed up it has to be set back in the right order as NOPD Superintendent Sean Ferguson explained in a press release, these special badges represent the NOPD's commitment to diversity and to working with everyone in our community, including our LGBTQ plus members and allies to make New Orleans the greatest city in the world. We're going to see how great New Orleans is going to be when Yahweh Bashar Shah sends judgment on this place in New Orleans and also the other 49 states of America as well. Because this whole landmass is going to receive a heavy judgment. And that judgment is going to those nuclear missiles that we are constantly seeing throughout the news now. Those are Yahabba Shanshai's weapons of mass destruction. And also, he's going to send his chariots. And they're going to do their bidding on this place in America as well. Ferguson went on to say that NOPD is devoted to New Orleans diversity and diversity within the department's ranks. These special badges are a reflection of that love, respect, and celebration, he said, and that the rainbow badges are an example of how NOPD is leading the way in modern-day policing in America. And it was just to show you how everything's against you, how about you shine in this society. The Most High has set up the rainbow as a, a holy and a beautiful covenant to let the world know that he's not going to flood the earth anymore by water. But this so-called white man being the devil deceiver, fraudster that he is, he's manipulating this image that the Most High has created, the rainbow, as a gay pride sign. And, you know, you look up the word pride, it goes into someone having proper dignity or self-respect or having a high opinion about themselves. So pride is definitely against you. How about you? Shah, just like everything that Esau pushes out in his you know, left hand vibration is off because he's sinister. He always go the left hand way while Yahweh Shah Shah has his elect other nation Israel to go the right hand way. So we're supposed to hate things like this and supposed to be vets into our spirit to hear or read or see things like this. So they say these special badges are a reflection of that love, respect, and celebration. They celebrating this gay pride month. And let's see what Yahweh Shah Shah says about being prideful. This is Proverbs 16 and 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to Yahweh Bashem Abu Shai. So being prideful is a filthy, wicked act. That's what the word abomination means. To Yahweh Bashem Abu Shai. Though hand joining hand, he should not be unpunished. And this so called white man is not going to be unpunished by all these different policies and ideologies he's passing throughout the whole world, getting the masses to accept them. And he's pretty much just saying, forget the ways of the Most High. So it says, though hand join in hand. So that means that anybody that take part of this system, they're going to be in the same type of, you know, same type of destruction as Esau. So two thirds of the nation of Israel, that's why Yahweh Shah said, you are like your father, the devil. You subscribe to the ways of this so-called white man in his system. So therefore, you're going to receive that same type of punishment, which is death and destruction. All right, this is Isaiah 13, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And we can constantly see what's going on in this society. You know, everything's out of order. You know, the food, breathing in chemtrails. You know, you're seeing homosexuals walk freely. 
You know, you send your kids out of order. These women want to have authority. You know, the list goes on. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Haughtiness goes into being prideful. You know, that's why you have Bashar Shah said in the book of Sirach. Why is earth and ashes proud? Like here you are boasting against your creator. Like, you know, he look at us as worms. So, but that's like, you just see a regular worm on the ground and it's being prideful. Like you just can't stomp on any given time. So that's how these people are in America. And also around the four corners of earth as well because America's vibration has spread across the four corners of earth. Like it says in the book of Revelation, the nation has drank the wine of her fortification, going to all these different ideologies and philosophies that Esau has passes, the other nations are accepting it as well. So Yahweh Bashan Shah, he's gonna punish the world for their evil. Alright, this is 1 Corinthians 7:31. And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passes away. And the fashion of this world is going to, you know, Esau's holidays, you know, his ideologies, his democracies. His philosophies, you know, the vibration that he pushes out for the people to accept, that's the fashion of this world. Like all these different customs and all these different, you know, trends that, you know, you see going on in America. You how about Shah Shah said the fashion of this world is going to pass away. So that's going to be coming to an abrupt end very soon. So the fashion of this world passes away. And that's something we're looking forward to. Lord willing, you know, we stay strong in this mindset. That we continue to look forward to things like this, that the fashion of this world passes away because as you can see how things are going in society, it's only gonna get worse. That's why you have by Shah Shah, he's laying iniquity, stack upon iniquity in America. Therefore, when he comes back or send his only begotten son, you have Shah to destroy this place, he's gonna be completely justified. Because this same place, America, aka Babylon the Great, is pretty much following the same ways as Solomon Gomorrah and those other ancient cities along with Solomon Gomorrah. But it's like even worse than in those cities now. All right, this is Revelation 16, verse 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And this is going to the seven angels. Yahweh Bashan Shah has passing judgment on this planet earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. And the mark of the beast is going to the microchip, which is. You know, or the RFID chip, radio frequency identification. You know, that's that microchip that Esau is going to pass out to the masses, get them to accept that. And the ones of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the 12 tribes of Israel, if you partake in taking in that, you're going to receive a heavy judgment from you. How about you, And it says, upon them which worship his image. His image is going also to... You know, the fashion of this world, like you accepting his holidays, you accepting his philosophies, you accepting his ideologies. You know, anything that Esau pushes out, as far as doctrine wise, you accept it, you believe in this system. That's why it says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt, because you trust in this American system. Therefore, you're going to receive a punishment for it. That's going to our people. And say, Upon them which worship his image. So the image, that's, you know, that's spiritual, because that's like you spiritually. You worshiping another God besides your true power, Yahweh Bashan Abishai. And we already know that Yahweh Bashan Shah said he's a jealous power. All right, this is Revelation 14 and 11. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And this is going to the people that, you know, especially our people as well, who worship the beast in his image. And it says, and they have no rest there nor night who worship the beast in his image, this whole so called white man system. You know, that's part of the beast, you know, NATO, EU, you know, this this whole, this ancient Roman system, which is reincarnated now into America. America just followed all the, the customs of ancient Rome. It's an and his image going to the fashion of this world. And whosoever received the mark of his name, and that mark is physical. And that's just talking about that microchip. And you see it's all in these phones and these new vehicles nowadays because Esau is using it for the people to be, you know, acceptable with, you know, okay, it's in my phone, you know, it's in my vehicle. So people being more acceptable of it, 
And that's when, you know, he wants to start that tracking. I mean, you actually put it in your your right hand or in your forehead. So this that that trickery of Esau that he he loves to do. He first, you know, he puts it out there that he wants you, you know, be used to it, get adjusted to it. And you get, you know, you becoming more acceptable of it. And that's when he gonna push it full fledged. You know, he's gonna implement it. And the time that we are coming across, we see that's coming very soon. So that's like how he's doing with these, you know, these gays, you know, with the LGBTQ, you know, that whole gay movement and agenda. He's making the masses accept it more and more now. Like you might see Jake back in the day that was totally against it. And now they saying they okay with it. It don't got nothing to do with me. But Yahab Bashan Shah said he that justified the wicked, even himself, is abomination to him. You know? So back to this article. That's pretty much the point right there. You know, NOPD adopts rainbow LGBTQ badges for Pride Month. So we can definitely see where this place is heading to. You know, it's just trying to make, you know, this gay agenda okay and more acceptable. And I can see through the spirit that it's going to probably be a crime for being a so-called heterosexual. Someone that who likes the opposite sex. So with that, I hope you all will edify follow to give all honor and glory again to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakadash, double honors again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you sincere brothers. I will leave this link in the description box for you all to read. Shalom.